Hey, and welcome to episode 47 of this Etrian Odyssey Nexus Let's Play. Um, so yeah, this is floor... <laughs> four? Of... What is it? Shit, what is it? Northern Shrine, I guess? Um, so if you've seen any of my other videos, any other video, you, you'll know... You'll know what to expect. It's just another shrine. Uh, but let's, let's start with the quest. Uh, okay. <laughs> so first quest. It's uh, ah yes, that request. That that one comes from a sweet, easygoing girl. She wants to make a soft and fluffy scarf. For that, she'll need four fluffy towels, which you can get from ice squirrels in the northern shrine. Ugh, ice squirrels. Squirrel tail tails do look very fluffy. I can see why she'd want to use them. Her scarf is going to be totally adorable. <laughs> What's that? It's gross hearing those words coming out from it. From <laughs> it's gross hearing those words come out of my old mouth. Get out of here and get to work. I mean, it's true. Though. Oh, this one. Uh, this is the next quest. So uh, this one grabbed my eye too. I do sell food here after all. We'll need one shelled log, which you can get from a tort tyrant. Port Iron, yeah, the Northern mm. Shrine. I think there might have been a special, special trick to getting it, too. Well, good luck. Huh. So a special conditional for that. For that guy. We'll worry about it as we get to it. But okay, floor four. Of another shrine. Because <laughs> we haven't gone through like 20 floors of this. Okay. <clears throat> Empty map. We have a big empty map. All this stuff to explore. It's always the most stressful part, I guess. Well, not the most stressful part. A stressful part. Oh. All right, Tort Iron. Play a little defensively. I don't know what. Oops. I don't know what he's weak to. You know. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna do a stomp attack <laughs> that uses his legs. They always. They always do that. Um, can I bind? Yeah, I can. Snare circle. And. Let's try to blind. Where are you, Sandra? No. That works. Oh. Okay. So. Let's clear mind. We're gonna have to use elemental attacks to kill him. I should move in front. Uh, because these guys are always. I swear to god, they always have, like, super strong physical defense, and you're supposed to you're, you're supposed to use elemental attacks on them. So it's really annoying. Uh, luckily, I have a Sovereign that has these elemental arm skills. So we're gonna fuck around with that. Uh, and let's just lower his attack. Wow, is he fully bound? Uh, frigid slash. Oh god, he's gonna take so long to kill. It's gonna take so long. Why are you doing this to me? Uh, lowest defense, I guess. Oh wait, I, we did. Never mind. <laughs> cool, we we beat the quest. We we, we won. Okay, let's go this way. I hope this is a dead end. I, I really don't feel like walking back. Doing all that shit. Okay, event adventure episode. You notice something strange at the end of a corridor. A monster is collapsed. 
on the side of the path, its unmoving body covered in wounds. You can choose to approach the monster for a closer look. Let's do it. You slowly draw near to the monster, hands hovering over weapons as you tense for a sudden attack. Either the monster doesn't notice you, or is in a deep sleep, because it makes no movement even when you are feet away. As you stand over the creature, you discover the truth. It has been dead for some time. You look around to see a puddle of blood a little ways from the monster, and what looks to be marks of something being dragged away. Someone must have done battle here, slaying the monster in the process. You wonder where the slayer went. Even more unsettling, you wonder what the extra blood and drag marks could mean. The scene is a stark reminder of death's ever-present influence in the labyrinth, always lurking, only steps behind. With this bleak reality hanging above your heads, you return to the maze with a wary eye. Yeah, man. That was me in college. <laughs> Dead lines everywhere. Death, decay. We're done with that now. Okay, so. Let's see what happens. This, this guy again. What are you weak to? Light bind and elemental attacks. Yeah. Just as I thought. Uh. Leg mind him and blind. Yeah, he's not. He's not bad. It's just always the fear of the unknown, you know. Whenever you fight a new enemy, because you're like, okay, what, what combo are you gonna do to just destroy me? Like, <laughs> what, are you, what, what are you gonna do? What, what's your secret? And whenever they're like a big enemy like this, they, they usually hit hard. Shit, so. It always, always scares me. Oh. Alright, cool. So, I did get my wish and this is a dead end. Alright, next. Next. Uh, where do we go? South, you say? Maybe? Ugh, oh, thrilled lizard, I hate you. Multi stab. Weak to blind, though. That's so scary. Okay, uh. And ice. Let's abuse that. Oh, I thought I had spread throw. Guess I don't. Piece of cake. <laughs> is, is that shadow armbind? Yeah, you use armbind. Okay. Shit, it's mine. Am I secreting up here? Just a normal attack. No, but you know what? He goes faster than mine. Sovereign does, my nice secret. Just binding slash, I guess. Okay. He's runs. Lips. Nothing. Oh, yes. So, shelled leg, I guess you gotta kill him with, like, elemental damage? I've been getting it every time. It's a uh, easy conditional, yeah, I guess. Uh, okay, we're not gonna go that way because <laughs> it looks like the right way. This way looks like the right way too. Oh my god! I'm gonna end up walking so much. Uh, this is gonna be one of those symmetrical. Bullshit system. Goddamn flies. All over the place. Okay. For these, I think I do need to be a little, little more defensive. Tiny bit more. Actually, protect order. Hmm. Good. 
Good, Smith Throw is inactive. Uh, can't sleep. Blind isn't gonna happen. So I only have those two though. Let's just try blind. Oh, that's right, the teaching sleep. And he hits hard. Elemental damage. The scroll. The scroll in the back. It looks like it was ranged to. What the hell just What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Another protect order for good measure. Yeah. I guess he's not too bad. Uh, you know, as long as you take on, like, kill him quickly. But to be fair, I feel like that's something you can. If you. If you... <laughs> It's kind of like the whole, the best defense is a good offense thing. If you kill the enemy within, like, before he gets a chance to, to ramp up his damage and all that, like, it's, it's better that way. Um, that's why some people, that's why in these games and most RPGs, people prefer the all-out damage, I kill you before you kill me approach. Instead of, most of the time, instead of, like, turtling or defensive moves. It's just sexy to do a lot of DPS, you know, a lot of damage. <laughs> it's what the people want. They don't, they don't care about the other stuff. You know what? I don't know why I've been doing Frigid Slash when I can use Spark Blade. That's, that's what we're gonna do. Where's Snare Hood? And Sentinel. <laughs> Shelled leg drop. What? What is the conditional anyway? Kill him? Is that the? Is that it? You just gotta kill him to get the conditional. <sighs> okay. Where are we going? Come on, man. The same guy. This floor was gonna be hard. <laughs> uh, take, take points. Oh, ambush! No, no! Please don't kill me! Oh. <laughs> Fuck! I can't really disable them. They're they're not they're not weak to sleep. Poison, I can poison the squirrel. Poison. Oh, oops, okay. Hero battle this so. though. Hero battling for uh, the. Uh, what's it called? Healing. Healing he does. So, can't sleep. But I can poison. I try using poison circle, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Let's hit circle. And cop drops. Okay. Well, that wasn't very much healing. <laughs> oh no. Okay, stag is neutralized. He's not gonna do much. Not gonna do much anymore. So we're just gonna kill the scroll. <laughs> Uh, it's a dead man. 
or dead woman. I don't discriminate. You all look the same dead. Ah ha ha. Okay, uh. Shit, I guess Sandthro. Alright, not bad. It's just a little. a little scared there. Just a little. Ugh, I gotta move her to the front. I gotta move her to the front. Please only be floor four floors. <laughs> All right, lanky bastard. Might not be able to see it or notice it, but my controller keeps disconnecting. <laughs> it's really annoying. <laughs> Super annoying. Okay, no conditional drop that time. Oh my god, it's already night? Spent that long in here. Or you know what? I think I, I used a farmer team before I came in here. I used them to, you know, gather materials. So that might be why. If you're uh, that curious, I guess you could always rewind. <laughs> oh no, this is a dead end. Is that even any shortcuts? Damn. Nice Seeker. Nice Seeker grew up. They grew up since. Shit, when was the last time I used Nice Seeker? I remember it was. I remember uh, Waterfall Woods was the time I used them. But I, I don't think that's the last time I did. I don't know. Where's Dismiss Blow? Yeah, nice seeker. They just need points, but once they get them, they're super good. They can just they bring a lot to the party. They they um they're not oh my god, what the hell broken. But um for what they bring to the table, it's just extremely versatile. Their only weakness is they're like fragile. And uh in order to do uh, all their damage all that good damage is the enemy needs an ailment. So, it's like... But Night Seeker's good at landing ailments, right? It's not like uh, War Magus, who feels like, it's like one of the worst in the game for, to, to doing that. Uh, that being landing ailments. Okay. Let's see. This puzzle. These guys, they're not ready. <laughs> they're not ready this time. Uh, okay. And what am I trying to find here? 
head. Actually, no, no, no. Let's poison circle. I needed to get more throws for my next seeker. <laughs> that was a mistake. Mistake of that. Alright. Alright. Headbound, that's good. What am I looking for? What am I looking for here? Blow. Um, dismiss blow. I'm not looking. I'm not looking for blow. <laughs> Still. Jeez, level seventy already. I mean, I think it's crazy that we're not even at the end of the game yet. Well, we're pretty close to the end, but we're already getting like level seventy. I should level up some circle. Um, okay, because I think in every Etrian game before this, you're around the final boss. You're usually like low 60s, I think. I'm assuming, I'm guessing, I don't know. It's been a while. Oh my god, this is a huge map. Okay, bugs. Goddamn bugs. Stupid physical moves to put people to sleep. So prevent order. Now, what are these guys against sleep? They all resist it. Or some bullshit. Also blind too, but I'm, it's not gonna stop. Jesus. Their luck must suck because they resist blind and they just, I landed on all of them. Well, you know, he's poisoned now because the circle overrode it, but that's to be expected. Find an out of breath Enrica before a door. Ah, uh, oh, it's just you. Tripper skills. Don't scare me like that. There's a monster in this room that will jump over the walls and chase after you. It really took me by surprise. I need a minute to catch my breath. You be careful, she says as she sits down. You nod in response and resume your exploration. Whoa, okay, so there's a jumper. I really do wonder now if this is the last floor for this shrine. Right. Again, I hope it is. <laughs> uh, not that I hate this game, I just don't like shrines. Not resist sleep. Let's try that. Oh, I used spear assist? I meant to use head pierce. Yeah, I did. He's not leg bound. Oh, he is. Never mind. <laughs> He's about to be dead, though.
Level 69. Now, what was I leveling on my hero again? I guess, uh, Guard Rush is good, but I'll wait. wait. I guess more Burst Blade can't hurt. I like that move. Alright, see the jumper. Oh, is a frog. Should have known. Do they chase you? Is that what they do? Oh. So he takes a step every time you take two. That was weird. Anyway. Let's see how bad it is. the other door first. Too many, too much FOE puzzle bullshit going on. Dead end. Oh no, I missed it. Okay, it says, you emerge into an open area of the shrine. Wild grass covers the ground, rustling gently in the wind. It seems peaceful here. Looking, looking around, you notice dandelion roots laid out on a nearby stump. Someone must have put them there to dry out. If you roast these, you can make some uh, dandelion coffee. Oh uh, yeah, let's make some coffee. I could use some right now, too. <laughs> anyway, you can't pass up the opportunity for a hot beverage. You tell the group to take a break and then prepare to meet, make you crush up the dried roots to a fine powder and then roast them in a pot. How long you burn the roots will affect the coffee's aroma. Coffee's aroma. Once you feel the roots have been sufficiently roasted, the rest of the process is the same as brewing ordinary coffee. You take a sip of the dark liquid and are delighted to find it really does taste like regular coffee. The comforting warmth of the drink heals your exhaustion. Alright, I'll take it. After everyone has had their share, you dig up another handful of dandelion roots, wash them, and leave them out to dry on the stump again. Once these roots are dried out, you can return here and make coffee. You make a mental note to return to this location when in need of a hot beverage. I'm not gonna. <laughs> That's the first and only time we're ever gonna step in that room. using Black Sabbath. <laughs> Alright, 
this isn't this isn't gonna be too bad. Okay. Something good. because of the spikes on his tail? <laughs> is, that, is that really why? I ask as if someone is capable capable of uh, answering it. <laughs> as I ask. Okay. How many turns? Six turns. Wow, he outspin my Arcanus. Wow. How fast is Night Seeker? Let's see. So, Hero and Highlander have about 70. 96 agility is not, it's not bad. It's pretty good, actually. I think he needs to take a turn to rest whenever he jumps off a ledge. That's my guess. Oh, shit. Let's just run away. Whoa! Physical and elemental defense decrease. It's not good. Oh. Okay. I see. I see what he does now. Weakens your defense and then just annihilates your front row. It's a. It's a respectful move. I. I. I I'll respect it. It's a good strategy. Thank you. What are their movement patterns like? I'm still, I'm still getting a hang of it. It's not as bad as I thought so far in this floor. Sleeping lion. Okay, this is a bad one, never mind. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? Okay. Alright, 
Oh, he can jump on this. Oh, God. You know, I could have pushed that away, huh? I really want to get into a fight. <laughs> this is killing me. My meter's been red for so long. Fighting so much trash, it just makes me really want to go against this Labyrinth's boss. I mean, I'm pretty sure we know who it's going to be. You have to be a li just a little dense if you don't know.
this guy? What is he doing? I really need to. Well, if I sleep, let's try that. Yeah. <laughs> shit. shit! Shit, 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 shit. This is not. Not good. Oh, fuck. Okay, that was so close. Literally, like the last, the last of the last that could have happened. <laughs> uh, my poor, my poor sovereigns, TP. I swear, if I was playing by myself, like that would have been a game over. I feel like I'm a little, I'm a little extra lucky when I'm recording. What the hell am I supposed to do with this? Oh! I see. I think. I think I see. I'm supposed to use that. Too many enemies he can't join. I think. Wow. Okay. Let's try this stupid puzzle again. Okay, it's not a stupid puzzle, it's just that I'm bad at it. What if I do this. Hmm. 
close. Oh shit, no, I could have gone. Okay, let's get into one fight. I think I think I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> Puzzle. It's like yeah. right at the end of the dungeon too. Right at the end. That wasn't supposed to happen. I woke the lion up. <laughs> uh, shit. That's okay. No, this, is, this, is, this is fine. Okay, uh, charm I... Sleep it off. Okay, good. Good. I mean, of course he woke up again. <laughs> okay. We can take him. King's Claw, though. I wonder what that does. Defect. Alright. Alright. <laughs> That's what King's Claw does? Okay, I really need to get the hell out of here. <laughs> it's been so long. Alright, attempt number 53 on this puzzle. Um, I'm gonna go down there real fast and then come back up to explore the rest of the floor. Floor number five. Jeez, that was that ending right there was uh was super stressful. Oh man, I have to fight one now, don't I? Stupid. Uh, hey, welcome back. How did it go? Did you get the fluffy tails? Whoa, they're so fluffy. But these prickly pines could pose a painful problem. Hmm. You'd think wearing these things like a scarf would poke holes in your neck. No, wait a second. <laughs> she must be using those spines to hit the pressure points on her neck and shoulders. That's it. What a clever idea. She's so young to have shoulder pain like that. Uh, I worry for her health. For her health when she gets older. I suppose I should worry more about my own. Just give me the experience. Yeah. Uh, next quest. Good work getting this request done. Hmm, so this is a shelled leg. Those muscles really uh, look really firm and tight. Is this even edible? If you wanted customers to be able to eat meat this tough, you'd have to beat, boil, and cook the heck out of it. Ugh, no thanks. That's way too much work. The best dishes are the simplest ones. Foods you can slice and serve. That's why I just love salads. Here's your reward. Use it on your next adventure. So many. Okay. So. Points. Who needs... Points. <laughs> What's my Highlander working on? Shook and shit. <clears throat> oh, 
against head pierce. Oh, right, shut up. Okay. And. Now we can go I don't think I can afford anything. That's a good staff. Sort too. You know, I might get that for my night seeker. <laughs> yeah, night seeker, where are you? Wait, was that a knife? Oh god damn it. So it's not good for Night Seeker then because knives don't let you use your uh, some of your slashing abilities and all that. It's, it's just the way it is. I see him rap. Alright, let the massacre begin. The frog, it's gonna be tough, I'm, I'm sure, because he lower it looks like he lowers your defense and then does a strong attack. But, like, even if he didn't lower your defense, that would be a really hard hitting move. But, uh, I mean, we've, we've done worse, we've gone through worse, right? Someone remind me to get more analysis scopes. That's a long walk. Uh, let's exit and <laughs> fight the FOE. Okay. Any more threats though? Alright. Now. Now we fight. Slimy frog guy. I think you're old that No, <laughs> I can't go down. <sighs> uh... No problem. You just have to walk a little a little further. Where's my war chat? I still have it. guy ready to be killed by you so the first move I'm pretty sure he's gonna lower my defense but 
we're gonna neutralize that with guard order. And we're gonna attack. What are you gonna do? Spread it up. Okay, tell me your weaknesses. So if I leg bind him, I think that'll be good. He's weak to ice, too. His legs are bound. <laughs> this is good. Uh, no, no, no. Let's use warrior might. got a lot of HP. Shit. How much is that? 24,000? Man. I hope this doesn't take too long. <laughs> Alright, sorry about that. My computer got like an error and I had to stop recording for a second. But uh, anyway, it's this, it should still be the same turn that stopped on. So, I mean, I hope. <laughs> uh, Alright, let's continue on with the fight. So I bound his leg. Let's try binding his arm. No, no, no. Let's try binding his. Let's dismiss blow first. Oh, you know what? I haven't debuffed him, that's why. Oops. I need to debuff his... I need to debuff his... Whatchamacallit? Defense. Royal Decree. There you go. Alright, guy. Let's see what you get. Use it now. Where is it? 
final victory. Yeah. Oh, he's still blinded. Duh. God. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. That and and I'm like super stupid. It's fine though. It's fine. Jeez. It sucks, man. You gotta do like that. Um, yeah, this guy isn't <laughs> as bad as I thought he would be, I say, right after eating that move. Miracle Edge will cut him down. My defense down? Okay, good. <laughs> I thought it was. Uh, where is it? Dismiss heal. Finally sleep now. <laughs> okay, uh, level ups, level ups. Hmm. Alright, let's leave. Let's get out of here. Address HP up. I mean, it's good for I guess Shogun. Uh, that dress or cloth, whatever. Oh, wait, Let's save and call it a day. Crazy. Some crazy stuff. Um. Yeah. Okay. So the next video might be a little more <laughs> eventful because it'll be floor five. Um, but I mean, after that, it'll be the boss fight. And, you know, boss fights are always fun. So, um, thanks for watching. Sorry about the issue there. Yeah, my computer was funky. Um, I hope it doesn't make putting this video together hard. Um, anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you for coming. Stay tuned for more. Blah, blah, blah.